Hello Hi, guys. guys, welcome to our kitchen here in England, Portsmouth <laughs> and today we're going to have a video where we talk about food again because we love food and you guys love food as well because we saw all the views that we get on food videos and exactly. so we thought, let's do it Yeah, well we video. thought because we're making a lasagna today we thought we would just film making a lasagna yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We have so, never made a lasagna together though, this is the no, first yeah. one. So we'll see how it works doing it together. So what do you need to do for a lasagna? You just well, this go to is the shop and buy it. I can't say this is going to be like a recipe thing, we're not no. actually giving you a recipe. No, it's literally like a, a cook with us. Yeah. We might tell, like Ricardo will probably tell you what he's doing, yeah. but we're not going to give you instructions. No, we're going to talk like about random stuff, yeah. completely different stuff. So. So we'll just cook away. Yeah. So basically we're making a video while we do our normal stuff. Yeah, we're pretty much. Today, so. Ricardo um, is going to start. Well done, Ricardo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I've never had a lasagna cooked by you before. You never? No. I've always no, cooked did. the lasagna. No, I've always cooked the lasagna. In Italy? No, never. What about in Italy? No, I cooked it. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. I cooked it. Yeah, because mm. I went and your mum taught me how to make like a lasagna how she does from scratch. Mm. And that's the first time, and you've never cooked my lasagna. Well, I'd say because probably because lasagna is not my main strength. My main yeah. strength is pasta, so not lasagna. So I said you can practice today. Ricardo's like, I'm Italian. I don't need practice. That was my response. <laughs> Even though he's never cooked it for me before. <laughs> exactly. So I'll do it once, and it'll be like marked in my veins. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Even though I'm helping as well, but I'm gonna leave it mainly in the hands of Ricardo. My hands. Well, my chest right now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, get me celery, please. Because I'm not a big meat eater, one thing that I actually really do hate is minced meat. I really do not like minced meat at all. I think it tastes disgusting. So I have my vegetarian option, which is corn mint. I think it's like soya or something, but I like it. So that's what I have. Put the lasagna making the sauce right now. So it's cooking in the slow cooker, something that in England they have had for very many years. In Italy it just came out, I think. And obviously the sauce that we're gonna make is the oh. Bolognese sauce, which is the right sauce for the lasagna, just in case you didn't know. I think how Ricardo peels his carrots and vegetables is very funny. Why? Because you use both sides of the... Uh, Blade. The What's it called? No, there's a word for it. Blade. Shaver. Yeah, but it's a blade. One thing that does, like, drive me insane, I think it's a man thing though, or it could just be a Ricardo thing, but I'm pretty sure it's a man thing, how men don't tidy up as they go along. So if they like the carrot shavings, Ricardo's actually going to go put them in the bin right now. But normally, he would probably just leave them on the side. And it really bugs me. On a table. Yeah, well, it just bugs me because it's like, well, that's like half of your chopping board is used up by these carrot shavings. <laughs> that's why you use two chopping boards. Do you know one thing you're missing? What no. are you missing? What am I missing? You've got, you've got carrot, you've got celery. Tomato sauce. And another thing. Oh, onion. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! So I would normally do for the carrots, I would normally put them into a blender, but our blender's broken. While well, Ricardo's chopping up carrots over there, there he is, give us a wave. Oh, that was a blurry wave. We will show you our menu for this week. So, basically, when I go shopping, I write what we're going to have every day, but we don't have this on the same day. I just write it so that we know what we're going to have. We've got sweet potato and bean escadilla. I could I never know how to say that, but we have not had that yet. Escadilla. Yeah, it's not how you say it, but I don't know. Macaroni cheese. We have had that. And the yeah. ticks doesn't mean we've had it. The ticks just mean that I've put it on the shopping list because we do our shopping online. Lentil bolognese. Many of you might get angry about that. But oh, we've what? got lentils that we need to use. Lentil bolognese? What is that? Burgers. I didn't even know that. Lasagna. Today. We've got that there. Fish finger pie. We had that yesterday. It was uh, okay. It needs some improvements to be made on that. And it actually needs a bit more salt in it. That's what's missing from that. Is it just a, a thing that we do, or everyone, whenever you go shopping, food shopping, you just make a list of things, or you just go around and say, oh, I feel like I want to have this, and you just make it. So I have to make a list when we do the shopping, because otherwise, 
when we go to the shops, we're basically there for like double the time that we would be if we made a list True. because we don't know what to buy, because we don't know what to eat. So we're always searching it online, searching for recipes because we don't really have the same thing every week. And we've started doing our shopping online. So Asda basically click and collect and it's free to do your shopping for you. So if you're like us, we don't have a lot of time on our hands. So I do it all online, make a list. And it's done, I go there, I pick it up, and it's with me in like five to ten minutes. Give us some meal ideas. Oh, yeah. Give us some meal ideas. What do you think we should eat next week? Oh, you know what? Yeah. We could even do, we could make it a thing where you guys give us your best recipe and we try to make it and see if we exceed your expectations. Not that you can try it, but that could be fun. But yeah. It, <laughs> the look of it, you could judge yeah. it based on the look and how we've cooked it. Exactly. I've been given the special job of the meat. Whoa! This is what my one looks like. You can't really tell very much. It kind of looks like rabbit poo, doesn't it? It looks like rabbit poo. So I gave the job to Coral and she passed it back on to me, so I'm still doing it. I chopped everything and now I'm chopping it into the tomato sauce. Well, I made, well, I just put the, oops, I put the tomato sauce in there. I kicked the meat, as you saw. I've added a little bit of um, wine to the meat so that the meat will cook even better. Then I've added everything onto this and now we're gonna let it cook for about two, three hours. Three hours, yeah. This is the most annoying part. Staring. Oh. It's, well, it's just a bit boring. Boring. <laughs> boring. We're ready. It's going in. I'm feeling hot. I don't know how much time we have left until they come round. Um, how much you made? Ten minutes. <laughs> They'll be here in 10 minutes. Oh well, don't need to eat straight away. Wow, that's heavy. Oh, oh my goodness. And then you have my little ones. <laughs> they have a Let's hell see. of a lasagna there. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at it! I'm not going to take it out right now because the people aren't here, but look, delicious. Super delicious. So, so what do you think from the look? From the look, it looks really good. Yeah. I'm hungry. So Our we'll baby see. is hungry. We've yeah. got some bread to go with it. Tomato kind of bread, Mediterranean bread it was called. This bit's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll find out if it's actually tasty. I like it. What is bread you mean? No, I mean lasagna. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> I made it. It was me. Oh, shut up. Yes, it is another day and we forgot to record it at the end of the day, of the night, because we were all tired. We had to tidy up everything and we couldn't finish it. So this is another day. But I can tell you that they absolutely loved the lasagna that I made. Now, it doesn't really matter because what I would like to share with you guys is just that before we had a smaller place and we were never able to invite people over and have them for dinner. But now that we've got a bigger place, we can now invite people and we absolutely love it. At least personally, I love inviting people over for dinner and cooking dinner for them. So if you're ever around Portsmouth, let us know so that we can cook a dinner for you because I always like to do that. So anyway. Guys, don't forget to follow us on our, both of our Instagrams, Coral Ray Chele and Rick Chele 92 And stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so that you know when our new videos come out. And we'll see you soon guys in our next video on Sunday.